Thanks for joining us. Accessibility goes beyond ramps for wheelchairs. One local teen is making sure words like handicap and disabled are no longer used on parking signs, and she's taking her fight all the way to the state capitol with legislation dubbed Hope's Bill. CTN's Jenny Yu has the story. It all started in the parking lot. My local Target store had changed all of their accessibility parking spaces to say handicap, um, along with the word disabled. Disabled is synonymous with incapable, broken down, and powerless. Hope Hoffman is a senior at Champlain Park. I had seen more and more handicapped parking spaces popping up. And advocacy runs down her spine. I was born with spina bifida. Um, I wear leg braces to walk. I run my own website, camelgirl.com, to support other young women with physical disabilities. I, I, I have a passion for changing. And with that passion, she turned to her dad, John Hoffman, who happens to know a thing or two about making changes. And so I said, okay, Hope, write a bill. And I think big, think big on the bill. He's a senator representing Champlin, Brooklyn Park, and Coon Rapids. And so she started coming up with ideas, and the more she researched, the more she came back with more ideas, and the more research, the more ideas, and finally had a huge bill. It's helped me kind of see the process of how a bill really does become law. Hope's bill updates current state laws to people first language. Words like handicap, disabled, or disability would no longer be used on accessible parking signs and printed and digital media. The word handicap references a time in old England when war veterans would come back with disabilities, being denied employment. They were then forced to beg on the streets for money with a cap handy in their hand. Now Hope's bill has made it through five Senate hearings with support from both sides of the aisle. People think that, that you can't, you can, you can make a difference. I'm proud of her. In Champlin, Jenny Yu, CTN News. Senator Hoffman says Hope's bill will have minimal cost, if any. If it does make it through the Senate, Finance and the House, it would go into effect as soon as the governor signs the bill.